We're in a game of League, and I'm about to show you how to win your games as Jin. What is up, guys? My name is Meeps, and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we are playing none other than Jin. Like this champion is, in my opinion, one of the most unique champions in all of League of Legends, or at least in the ADC role, it's the most unique, or one of the most unique ones, in my opinion. And the reason for this is that his auto attacks work kind of differently than other champions because of the fact that he has like kind of a champer and he doesn't really get that like increased attack speed as such from stats. Instead, he just gains more AD and dealing more damage. So he's quite a unique champion and quite a fun one to play. Uh, I think it's something that everybody should try out whether they want to main him or not just because he's actually extremely fun to play. Uh, but yeah, before we do get too much into this video, then what we are going to be doing is that I'm going to explain to you guys how to play this champion in the early, mid, and late game. So basically the overall strategy for him. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of everything here, both for new players, intermediate, and advanced. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and hopefully it'll be a bit entertaining. Uh, for those of you who do enjoy it or find it helpful or something else, and I would really appreciate it if you were to hit that like button. And if you are new in here, go down below, click that subscribe button, join into our awesome community. And lastly, if you want to hang out with me, then I stream at twitch.tv dash meeps underscore live. But all of that for those plugs, let's just get into the needy greedy things of this uh, this video. So we're playing against a Simira and a, uh, a Swain. This is not one of the easiest things to play against as a Jin. Uh, mostly because uh, their all-in comp is quite scary. If this if this Swain does hit his uh, his grab, then we're gonna get in a really bad spot where uh, their Samira potentially can just jump in our face. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing here in the beginning, and this is what you want to do on almost every single ADC, is you want to be trying to play for the level two power spike. So we're gonna get that right there, and we're gonna run up into the face. We're gonna do this and we can actually get our first slot right away because they messed up so so much and the reason why this worked and i want to explain this really quickly uh because there's actually more than one reason why that worked like first of all yes they didn't do great uh i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that the, the play they made there was insane or anything and that this guy like we are playing this in a normal game so i can show you guys uh basically how to play the champion and also that i have a bit more extra energy for just like Making it hopefully a bit more entertaining than otherwise. But the reason why it worked out here is first of all, we got went for the level two. Uh, one of the very important things, and I see this a lot on people that play Jin, even people that have played him, that play him like plat, or even not that much once you get to around diamond. I don't think it happens that much, but it's, even in plat, this mechanical error happens for a lot of people. And that is basically that they fire off their fourth shot in Jin's champer. Uh, before they use their Q. So they actually use it reverse. Uh, and let me explain why it's actually super important that you remember to use your Q before your final shot. Uh, and the reason for this is quite simple. Your final shot actually scales uh, with the enemy's health. So the lower health they are, the more damage this attack deals. So of course, that's why you want to hit your Q before hitting your last shot. Because this is going to ensure that you deal the most damage that you possibly can with that uh, last bullet. So that's quite important. So you can see, for those of you who are new to the champion, you can see that he has four bullets in his chamber. And uh, they're visualized up here, which is super simple. Um, all of them deal more or less the same damage, except for the last one has this absolutely insane damage buff and uh, is, is huge. Uh, but it doesn't... It doesn't do a lot of damage on targets that have basically full health. So you want to try and aim. Uh, this is something we'll talk more about as we get to like mid to late game. But we'll talk more about at that point uh, using this ability on targets that are low. So this is one of the points where Jin will separate himself. I actually messed that up hard. Um, separate him himself a little more from other conventional ADCs that just like to go for the closest target, which Jin, to a large, large extent, also wants to do. But if there is two targets that are fairly close to each other, 
uh, and you don't have to go too far and you're not gonna put yourself in like a cramped situation then even if it's a tanky target you want to be trying to go uh for the target that is the lowest health uh of course to a certain extent because if you can kill an a squishy target you of course want to do that anyway here in the laning phase uh, let's just talk about this and then we'll get back to all the more advanced team fighting tricks uh later so let's grab that one we'll put up this we should be able to hopefully do a little bit here i don't i'm not sure whether or not we will be able to get the kill we actually managed to that was awesome very nice stun by or poppy all right so we're in a pretty good state here we're gonna be able to kill this guy we'll just make a flash play in a moment there we go thank you very very neat all right so so far we're really fed we're all, fortunately really outplaying these guys the thing is uh this this bot lane that we're playing against if they played a bit more safe and just made sure that they could go for healthy engages this would not necessarily be the easiest lane for a gin but they are putting us in a situation where like it is uh it is a lot easier than it should be all right so i'm actually just gonna go ahead and old here because why not <laughs> like they have no idea what to do because they're so far behind i have my heal they're literally at this point i think th this might become a short game if they keep going with this anyway let's talk a little bit about like what to do even in lanes that are going uh like not going ideally like i know this game we're kind of stomping them and they're having a really rough time and actually personally i don't like uh that like if the game plays or the how the guides turn out this way where i absolutely stomp them because it's sh like this is not how most people will have their games at least uh every game so it's i feel like it's better when i have a game that's more like rough so i can kind of show you guys how to get back into a game but well we'll play this from a super upper hand apparently and we really need it back because we're sitting on way too much gold here all right so we'll go ahead we'll uh, we'll go for this back but yeah, with Jin uh, in laning phase, then in a laning phase where you do have the advantage, then basically what you want to be doing is, of course, you want to try and harass your enemies as much as you possibly can. Uh, you do this by simply, uh, one, you can auto-attack them when they go in for, for taking one of their minions. So when they're not trying to attack you, but trying to take a minion, then you can fire a shot as long as, whoops, as long as you don't hit your own min, or as long as... You don't miss your own minions, like miss getting some some some, uh, some minions because you, of course, don't want to give up gold. Uh, that's, of course, quite important. But that aside, you want to try and harass them when that's possible. I might actually just go for W here. I'm not going to kill her on it, but I'm just going to get the Dark Harvest stack because why not? There we go. Um, So that's basically uh, kind of the thing you want to do. You want to try and trade with them. A really good thing you can do is you can try and, and prepare the back minions, the ranged minions, um, to deal more damage. Because your Q deals more damage if it kills a target that it jumps on. So you can actually go ahead and use this onto, uh, like, lower the HP of the back minions so you can use your Q onto that target and make it bounce onto their uh, ADC as he walks up for farm. So you can actually... Like, as they walk up... I'm going to be close here. Alright. Oh, double far. Double ward. Uh, I can go up. We can actually ult this guy, probably. Alright, here. This should be a fairly easy one. I think she's right around here. Yep. That's a free kill. I'll take it. <laughs> So that's the thing. Yeah, like at this point, we're pretty fed. We're having a lot of fun with it. Uh, like Jin's old makes you feel absolutely amazing. Like it, it, it's such, it's such a good old, and you can lose it, use it for different things. Um, but yeah, let's just finish the laning phase. I know this is getting split up a little bit. Yeah, laning phase. Uh, you want to try and harass your enemies as much as you can using your, um, using the the back minions to to basically make your grenade jump on them. You want to, if you just go for straight up trade, you want to also try and go for Q 
into an auto attack and whenever you have your fourth shot ready if you can 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 get like a shot in on them and that's great because that that bullet get, deals more damage especially if they're low health they will really 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 struggle with this one um, in terms of if your jungler or something gets invaded or something happens in river stay aware of the fact that your w your deadly florist has ex it's like ex exceptionally long range which allows you even though it doesn't deal a ton of damage it allows you to snare a target that's really far away which can be a big deal like it can be such a big deal for your team and you can actually help you out quite a bit right here i'm just gonna kind of try to uh oh this might not be so good actually unfortunately right here i don't have so right here again we kill before now we snare and you can see we're just like we're absolutely smashing at this point uh they're also taking some fights that they shouldn't like i'm way too far ahead uh they should not even be trying this and my lulu is also doing a good job with good old that also st uh, stunned or targets uh, but at this point, we'll just try and smash this on. So laning phase is quite similar in this way. If you are playing against a lane that's difficult to deal with, then the best thing you can do is actually like Jack, basically just turtle up underneath your turret and farm. That's basically it. That's the best thing you can do is just sit there, last hit, wait for your jungler to come in and help. And the thing is, you can actually, because of the fact that Jin as a champion has his own snare, then it's really easy for you to help out your team. As we know, then if a teammate hits a... Um, I'm gonna actually... Right here, he should have gone back and... Uh, well, this is like kind of a waste of an ult, but the thing is, I want to back anyway, so I don't really care. There we go. Um, but the thing with Jin is... I uh, actually kind of lost what I was saying. Yeah, the thing is with Jin is that uh, you're, you can use your W on a target even if like your snare works as long as somebody else from your team casts this like something on them a cc or something so or hits hits them with a spell in general so this basically just means for you that you have a lot of options for casting your w even when you're not that close to the target and that can set up a potential kill by snaring them let's say you're playing with a leona and uh like you have an auto attack already on the target. You can W that target. Then Lona can run up. She can use her stuns. She can follow up with an ult. And it's just free kills. Or you can do it. Help help out your jungler. Like your W is such a good tool. And the same goes for your ult. And this is something I see a lot from people that um, that are not that good with, with Jin. Or don't have so much experience with him. Like I even see this like literally in like plat rating. I'm, I'm not kidding you. It's like people don't really think about the fact that your old as well can be used as a utility like whenever you old the target they get slow like their movement speed gets slowed significantly and this basically means that you can very very easily um like basically slow down a target so your teammates can catch up to them and like it, it's so good for both like both in laning phase and later in the game if somebody's out of position you can use your ult not necessarily for the damage but just to to catch them off guard and make sure that your team can follow up all right so now that we've got the bot turret down we're moving into mid to late game uh the mid to late game and the reason why we're saying mid to late game is because the mid game and late game are so similar on this champion that i'm not going to separate those two things i actually i feel so much like going like for a really deep play but we're not going to do it um, but they're two very, very similar things. And this matter basically means that in the mid game, you want to be rotating mid. Then you want your mid laner. Uh, then you want your mid laner to rotate to bot so we can have. So we can be as an ADC and support since we're two players. Then we can be closest to. Uh, we, can, we can be closest to the two objectives, which is quite important. Um, because this means that we can in in a lot of cases outnumber at least outnumber the enemies especially at lower elos this is amazing because most mid laners won't actually like a lot of mid laners don't want to rotate because they're like it's my lane but if you can make your mid laner rotate you'll actually be able to outnumber most uh fights just by the by the fact that you're actually playing the right way uh which is quite quite uh quite cool All right, so I'm going to hang back a little bit. We could probably go for more here.
Ah, well played. I thought she was going to move the other way. Anyways, uh, we're going to try and get this turret and we're going to move on. So, yeah, you want to go in and rotate for the mid lane and then you want to try and farm in here. If your mid lane is too stubborn, you want to rotate to another lane, of course, because there's no point in you being three people in the mid lane sharing gold and XP. So in that case, you'll have to just deal with it and move. In this case, I was quite fortunate and I, I can say this uh, with very much confidence that if you ask your mid laners to rotate, like there's a much bigger chance of them rotating, obviously. And a lot of people, if you ask them nicely, will actually do that. You can see this already. I'm not pre-made with anybody here. She rotated. I just asked her. Uh, like, and this is this is in a normal game. So, I I probably don't think this guy is super high rated. Uh, he's been doing okay in here, I guess. But his farm is not great. He's not doing absolutely insane. I think this guy's ending. At this point, maybe. No, wait, she's not. Well, okay. All right, I'm not going to go into this fight. This is kind of one of those fights that are kind of pointless. There's no objective in here uh, and no really real point of it. And yes, because I'm so fed, I could probably go in there and beat most of them up. But I don't want to play this game as just being super fed and like run in and stomp people in. Like The point here being that we want to play around objectives. We want to make sure that that's what we want to do. Like as an ADC, basically as more or less any player in the game, your primary objective is not to get, get kills or elimination. There's a means to an end in order to get to the Nexus. If, like, you can have... That's why in pro games that you see that there's not a lot of kills. It's because they don't need them. Like, you can get most gold through farm, and then through the rest of it, you're literally just going to be able to win the game, right? Uh, you Through the few fights that are there. So, rather play safe, get your farm, get your gold that way. Uh, and take the, the kills that, that you can punish them for making mistakes. Don't force plays that are unnecessary. It's so right here. We see all of them running around up here with no objective fighting for nothing. So Puppy and I just literally go for the, the, the one objective that's here. Uh, that we have. We have the rift. So we can just go through that motion. Uh, and basically open up their inhibitor. Right here killing the inhibitor is not necessarily the best thing because this means that this wave will constantly be pushing and if we can't finish the game soon then we're actually just giving them more gold. But this is a more advanced tactic that doesn't really... I, I don't think it applies to a lot of people at lower elos because like it it they're just not gonna know how to really exploit these things anyway. So yeah, I hope that kind of makes sense. At least in my opinion. But yeah, for now, the way we want to be playing the, uh, the the late game is, of course, that we want to play around team fights. We want to play uh, around picking up chat, like uh, picking picking people out uh, when they're out of position. And this is one of the things that I think Jin is highly underrated with is how good he is at like just picking people up when they're out of position. Like he's extremely good at this. You can see right here, we're just absolutely smashing them. Which is, of course, super fun. But uh, this is not how we can expect every game to go. Even though it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> not gonna lie, okay? In this case, we'll kill. We'll go kill the inhib here. We will probably be able to finish this game pretty soon because of the fact that like, we're pretty fed. Right away, we rotate top. I don't want to try and go and finish right here. Okay, my team is trying to. We're gonna try. Okay, they surrender. Yeah. Uh, I think we tilted their Samira pretty hard, and I get that. We did get through most of the stuff. Let me just explain a couple of things with with Jin. Like, first of all, uh, Jin is like, I see a lot of people playing Jin and not really exploiting his kid in terms of his utility. And this is one of the cool things about Jin is, first of all, he has insane damage. Uh, he's really bursty, and if you use his fourth shot well and make sure to prioritize uh, targets correctly, then it's really really nice. And prioritizing targets correctly is basically meaning that you want to use that shot on whoever's lowest within your range uh you never want to go chase somebody if that means somebody else is going to reach you of course that's how it is but as Jin in the team team fighting phase and when you're playing team fights you want to stay back with what we call the back line as far back as possible you should double use the best of your ability your ult is also good to pick somebody out especially if they're rotating somewhere and just use it to slow them down or even kill them because it does deal a lot of damage but otherwise basically just play the back line go for the closest target uh make sure that you utilize that fourth shot and use your q if you see that there are three enemies one of them is dying 
and you can get that Q onto that target and kill it with it, then you actually uh, make that that that, that uh, Q deal more damage to the bounce to the targets that it bounces to afterwards. And there's actually a, quite a little trick there that even like if you cast your Q on that target and you don't kill it with the Q, but you kill it with the last shot right after. And if the bounces, or like if the Q is still bouncing between targets, it'll actually still increase its damage by the 35%. So that's really, really a neat thing. So that's why you want to throw it on the lowest target. And your bombs, you just kind of want to throw them. Uh, you don't want to throw them in laning phase where the minions are. You want to throw them in bushes and kind of obstructing their jungle from, from getting to you. And whenever you're fighting, try also to see if you can place them in if they're trying to move away so they have to run through them even though it doesn't deal damage it will slow them down uh because the damage like on that one is like they have to stand in it for way too long for it to actually uh deal damage in a fight at least against good players they will just move over it move out of it anyways i hope this kind of helped you guys out and i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did make sure to hit the like button i really appreciate it and uh, yeah if you are new in here go down below click that subscribe button join into our awesome community and lastly, if you want to see me live, go to twitch.tv dash meeps underscore live uh, and I'll see you in there. But as always, stay awesome, have fun and take it easy, guys.